Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I am so delighted, so delighted I just cannot explain in the words. In today's video, I'm going to only and only talk about gold and I have an amazing, amazing forecast as far as gold is concerned. We have now a date and a price level. And we also know that we are going down. Having these three things in uh, in our mind and in our hand or in our toolbox, we can easily put a stop loss. We can easily relax, sit back and go to sleep and enjoy the long run of drop of about $200 an ounce of gold. I am absolutely not kidding. It's not a marketing gimmick. I have done a lot of work to achieve this. Let's have a look what I mean. Here, I've done some forecasting, calculations, modeling, whatever you want to say, some advanced Elliott wave analysis or whatever you want to say. And it looks like we are heading to 1600 gold at being $1,600 an ounce on August 12th. What happens before that? It can go up and down I'll in within this range, within today's prices range, and I'll give you the top range, but gold is expected to be around at $1,600. And this forecast is being made on July 23. So this is absolutely stunning forecast. I'm not just making this up and this is I've done my due diligence and that's the reason I'm so happy and delighted and pumped up. Let's have a look at the chart and let's see why I'm saying so, okay? I'm not going to tell you how did I do model, modeling and Elliott wave analysis on the long deeper level but I can give you some certain levels so let's see and get into the analysis of gold. Let me delete that. So if you are looking at it, it actually means you already noticed it. All right. So now in from last previous uh, the few days, if you have been following me from the shop, I have been clearly indicating that I am bearish on gold. Actually, when the gold was right at the top, I've been clearly indicating that I'm bearish, absolutely bearish on gold. There's no denying on it. The most complex uh, complex things, however, it is not easy to follow the path of the trading. You cannot just forecast going up and down and up and down. It's extremely difficult. In today's video, we can see that the price target is actually indicating towards, I have figured out this date, August 12th, and then I believe that are just in a day or plus or minus around that date, we are going to be at $1,600, $1,590 is one target, $1,600 is another target, and just in case we are out of luck, our target would be right over here at 1677 Just in case we feel severe, severe resistance at that point, in that case, our target would be at 1677 But the good point is that if prices for uh, around that area before August 12, then we don't need to worry because they are definitely going on um, to the on to fall on that particular date. All right, let me catch my breath and uh, let me try to make some sense and make some logic once again. Okay, let's have a look now. What's happening? I've been with you and we have been waiting and waiting and waiting. A lot of days have passed since our drop, and we have been actually this. When this happened, we have been waiting all this long, and I'm still of consistently saying that we are bearish. All this happening is correction, and we have seen a good amount of correction, and I believe that correction is complete right now. I'm calling this as wave one, wave two of five wave, and then wave three of the five wave structure. This is going to be wave four of the five wave structure. I do believe that we have already completed wave four, so the stop loss can be any point beyond this place. All right, and let's come figure out what is this. 1834. If you are going to trade, take this trading setup, this content is for educational purpose. You make a penny, you make or you lose a penny. You make a million or you lose a million. All that credit goes to you. I've done some research and I'm sharing my research with you. So if you want to take some risk please be really careful as far as the money management is concerned all right 
So since this is out, let's talk about about. So now the accurate target I'm giving you. Stop loss at 1834. If prices go beyond at 1834, we are absolutely or I am absolutely wrong at that point. One thing very sometime occasionally would happen is that we can have a double top at this moment that will become W, X and Y. But if prices can actually go all the way up, this is that that will get absolutely near wrong. So 1834 <laughs> is a good, good solid area as far as stop loss is concerned. If you really want to be careful and you want to make sure that you don't miss the trend and your stop loss doesn't get caught, then our target area stop loss is right over here. <coughs> Oh, I got just so much delighted and <clears throat> all right stop loss is 1905 so pardon me for all the excitement but for the day traders most of the people are not gonna take that much deep uh, set up uh, stop loss so I'm indicating one right over here 1834 and once you go in this is very important right now once you go in the trade do not close the trade absolutely not close the trade reason because on the daily chart we are going to move on the daily chart or you can say weekly chart whatever you like we are going to start moving down over here if you start taking profits on 15 minute chart move you're gonna miss it I can guarantee you that you're gonna miss the trend for example if you analyze this trend right over here and if you zoom uh, in on a 15 minute chart you would come in and out so many times that is the trend is so strong this hundred percent guaranteed that you're gonna miss the trend so we don't want to miss the trend especially after when we have made it this long for the correction so we're going down I'm personally going to take position I have already a position actually stop loss is at 1834 for my positions my stop loss is at 1834 it's not a huge position but it's a uh, it's, it's good enough for a retail trader and I'm looking for two major targets first of all I'm looking out for 1677 to be cleared I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen before August 12 and if by any chance prices are very slow and it's around August 12 right over here I'll close my position without any question without any question and if this is happening like a week ago not one or two days ago like it's happening half a down uh, today is third so we are talking about uh, how many days 7 and 12 19 days 18 days right so we're talking about 17 18 days then I won't be really worried our main target is going to be right over here 1590 and 1600 this is the target zone for our price let's have a look on a 15 minute chart to give you some confidence and say what's happening all right let me delete these things so we can actually get the clutter out All right. First of all, on a one hourly chart, I drew this uh, this support line. This support line, if you can see, we have one, two, and three points right over here. Prices have already fallen off the support line, giving an indication. Whatever the structure it is, we are right now going through the correction on a smaller time frame. It's also giving an giving giving us an indication that we have completed this trend right over here. So I'm confidently calling it as wave A, wave B, and wave C. Some of you guys are a fan of head and shoulder pattern. We are exactly seeing the same. We have a weird looking head right over here. We have a uh, left pattern. This is my left left shoulder and right shoulder. And we are right now walling beyond it. Only problem with the head and shoulder pattern is it won't be able to tell you where the price target is. In this case, I've already given you the price target. Our price target is $1,600, $1,590 an ounce. We have also uh, we are also aware of the date when it's going to happen and that is August 12th. We are, I'm going to run with this analysis in the next few weeks. We'll remember that on this particular day, I posted the analysis and then we'll go on on that analysis. So if you are to join uh, me with this particular trend and we want to take benefit of that, this trend or at least do a literal uh, theoretical work on it, we're going to do it together. All right. So you're really welcome if you want to join me. This is going to be an amazing uh, way of looking at the market. And uh, I'm really, really delighted. One more thing. Oh my God, I just cannot make sense of my own logic. All right. Another important thing, this support line came in last week. 
I mentioned it in one of my previous videos and this is also looking very healthy. We can also see four test points on this support line giving us an indication that the major trend is down. One, two, three already and one right over here, four. So this is also very good uh, trend line. If some of you guys are literally to the point very, very uh, severely addicted to Elliott Wave analysis and that's how it's supposed to be, then I think on a 15 minute chart we might be completing a leading diagonal. On a 15 minute chart it looks like we might be completing a leading diagonal. How exactly is happening I'm not going to mention it because that will force you to look at the price way in that way or at least try. Maybe this is wave 1, wave 2, wave, wave, wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5 or wave 5 right over here. We probably have completed a correction right over here. We are going downwards. There's another possibility and then we have completed the correction right over here and then there's another small uh, sharper wave impulse wave. It looks like we have completed a single zigzag correction and it looks like that we might actually go deeper on a double zigzag before going down. So this is the possibility that we might actually do something like this. So this will be a single zigzag correction, double zigzag. This will be the correction of this small wave and we are going further down. But once again, I'm not going to use these small little waves to uh, do trading decisions. I've done some uh, strong analysis on it analysis that is going to carry us to our long-term analysis long-term trend we want to take benefit from the long-term price movement and believe me a $200 for drop from our right over here is very sharp very sharp move we have waited along do not do not lose this opportunity even if you are doing a book exercise so in today's this video was all about gold we are going to look at uh, Bitcoin we're going to look at silver and I'll probably include uh, what else is normally we do ethereum or some other thing hopefully tomorrow or hopefully on Sunday but the gold is done I've completed this research I spent a lot of time on uh, on researching and a lot of interesting data has come up I thought I would share it with you guys and once again thank you so much have a good one and bye bye